Quakertown, PA is a great place to live overall. This video, I'm gonna go over some pros and cons as someone who lives right around the corner from here. Stay tuned. Hey, my name is Doug Bear, the Philly Suburb Realtor. If you wanna know what it's like to live, work, eat, sleep, and play right here in the suburbs of Philly, PA, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video each week. And we are getting calls every single day from people just like you looking to buy, sell, invest, relocate to the Philadelphia area and its suburbs. If you're looking to do that and don't know where to start, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, however you want to get a hold of us. We got your back. Let's get into the video. So pro number one for Quaker Town, as a realtor, I'm always looking at the housing affordability and in Quaker Town, it's pretty affordable. In quarter one of 2023, the national average home sale price was about $436,000 in the first quarter of this year. In all of Pennsylvania, it was about $240,000 is the average for the whole state. Quakertown came in just under that, around $220,000 for home sale in the first quarter of 2023. So that's definitely a good thing, with, especially with the lower property taxes uh, compared to with some of the other suburbs around uh, the area and uh, combine that with the lower than average sale price and it's a pretty affordable area to live. The average uh, monthly rent in the area is about $1,200 a month. So if you're looking to rent and want to consider that, so that's you know the, the number for renting in the area. And also in terms of uh, utilities and groceries and just everyday living costs, it is slightly above the average. Um, actually, most of Pennsylvania is slightly above the average. So considering all those factors, it still is uh, lower in terms of housing affordability plus cost of living. Uh, it's um, below average than the rest of the state. So it is uh, more affordable than most of Pennsylvania, um, especially the Philadelphia suburbs. Some of them get pretty expensive, but as far as cost of living and housing affordability, it's a pro on this list. So con number one on this list is it's pretty limited in terms of career opportunity. So there are plenty of jobs with all of the restaurants, car dealerships, you know, stores, everything that's scattered throughout Quakertown. But in terms of careers, you know, it's there's pretty limited. Um, they did, if you're in healthcare, they did just add the massive St. Luke's Hospital. So that helps um, for the job and career opportunities in the area. Um, however, with Route 309 going right through the center of Quakertown, uh, north and south. It's a straight shot down to Philadelphia or up to the Lehigh Valley and all the career opportunities there. And there's also a, a turnpike and entrance and exit in Quakertown. So if you need to commute anywhere on the turnpike, that's accessible too in Quakertown. But in terms of right in town, it's pretty limited in terms of career opportunity. So pro number two on this list is it's got a great community atmosphere. It's one of those towns where a lot of people know their neighbors. Um, they put on festivals and uh, different uh, community events each year, you know, 4th of July fireworks, all those types of things. A lot of the people here are very, very friendly. So if you're looking for somewhere that has a great community, kind of come together and, and a great family atmosphere, uh, Quaker Town's definitely a pro in this area. So the second con, if you are looking for somewhere that has a, a great nightlife, it's not Quaker Town. Quaker Town is great for, you know, there's plenty of restaurants, things to do around the area, uh, but in terms of nightlife, I mean, most places during the week shut down anywhere from, you know, 8 to 10 p.m. Um, some places on the weekends are open till maybe midnight, 1 a.m., but, uh, you know, especially for someone like me who I like my sleep, that doesn't really bother me at all, but if someone looking for nightlife and in the night scene you like to enjoy going out late at night hang out with friends quaker town definitely lacks in this area so pro number three on this list is there are tons of things to do in and around quaker town if you are an outdoorsy person quaker town is definitely this should be on your list uh, of places to research and consider moving to um, there are a lot of parks playgrounds uh, the naka mixin uh, state park is right around the corner has a huge uh, lake which lake naka mixin which has you know you're able to motorboat you're able to sailboat you know they have their own marina you can kayak, fish, you know, whatever you want to do there. And Lake Nakamixon is just a short drive from Quakertown. Um, but again, even in, in Quakertown itself, uh, they have plenty of uh, open spaces, some basketball courts, tennis courts, 
you know, parks, playgrounds, whatever you're looking for, you can find it is in terms of outdoor activity in Quakertown. And on top of the outdoor activity, there's plenty of restaurants, there's plenty of places, of stores to go to, there's movie theaters in town. So as far as things to do in the area, you do have a ton to choose from. So that's great, especially right on that main strip on 309 that goes right through the center of Quakertown. Also, you have places like uh, Q Mart, uh, Quakertown Farmer's Market, uh, which is a huge farmer's market. They have a very long strip uh, building out front that has tons of stores and, and places to eat in there. Um, and out back, they have plenty of tables where vendors set up, sell you know pretty much anything you're looking for, a lot of random stuff, a lot of regular stuff. If you're looking for things to do, Quakertown definitely does not lack in this area. The third con on this list is the traffic is terrible, especially during rush hour. I mean, you can say that for a lot of places, but especially with uh, 309 going right through the middle of Quakertown and it being a very heavily and popular uh, traveled road during rush hour really all times of day can get pretty congested and backed up especially when uh, just this morning you know PennDOT decided to shut down both directions north and south of uh, Route 309 in Quakertown uh, to do road work which is never a good idea during rush hour um, but they decided it was a good idea to do that and it caused even more of a backup so quaker town is not great as terms of traffic so if you're looking for somewhere where you know there's not many people on the road or it's easy to get to a and b uh, quaker town it's a con on this area for traffic so another pro on this list is going to be location especially with how easily commutable it is uh, from all the way down to the city of Philadelphia up to Lehigh Valley. Quaker Town's about a midway point, maybe slightly more toward Lehigh Valley. Um, but with the easy commute um, with Route 309 going right through the center of it, north and south, and again, there is a uh, turnpike exit and entrance uh, in Quaker Town itself. So in terms of location and you know being able to commute everywhere, Quaker Town's definitely a pro in this area. So another con on this list is going to be there is limited public transportation. So if you don't want to have your own vehicle and you're looking for public transportation, you know, your options here are pretty much just Uber and Lyft uh, to get anywhere. So while it is a great area for being able to commute everywhere, if you're looking for public transportation, it definitely lacks in this area. So another pro in this list is it actually has great schools. So Quakertown, according to Niche.com, Quakertown High School was ranked actually the 10th best high school in Bucks County in Pennsylvania. So it's a good area for school districts. The only thing they lack in is maybe after school activities. Um, but overall, it does have a highly rated school district in the area. So if you are like me and always looking for areas with good school districts, Quaker Town is a pro in this area. So there's your pros and cons for Quaker Town, Pennsylvania. If you are a resident of Quaker Town, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know with what, what do you agree with, what you don't agree with, why. I'd love to get to know you, especially the local people here. Uh, maybe your input and comment will uh, be valuable for somebody else looking who's looking to relocate here. But again, my name is Doug Bear, the Philly suburb realtor. Please feel free to reach out to me. My information is on the screen. Call, text, email, however you want to get a hold of me. I got your back. We're living in Philly suburbs.